Hi everyone, before we get started with this power yoga practice, I wanted to invite you to check out my new YouTube channel. It's called Mindfulness with Embody. They're meditation music videos that you can use for a personal meditation practice, plays relaxing background music while you study or work. Try out the seven day meditation series on the channel too. The link will be in this video's description. Now on to class, enjoy. Welcome, welcome, a little power hour this afternoon, beautiful fall day. I'm going to start in mountain pose, so go ahead and take your time and just make your way up to the top of your mat. <clears throat> Perhaps standing with your feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. But if that's not comfortable for your joints, like your knees or ankles, yes, please feel free to step out a little bit or even turn your feet outward if that feels more comfortable, just as long as you feel balanced on two feet an even distribution of weight between the feet. And then just settle in. And as you're continuing to arrive in the space, just make a connection with your breath. Just some slow, steady breaths here. Perhaps these first few times, just breathe in a way where you can feel your breath and hear your breath. That's it. Just making this connection, moving inward. Yeah, feel free to add movement in your body as you're taking these breaths. Just consider that a nice check-in with your own body. Just notice how you feel. Be aware of how your practice can assist you and help you today. your body is needing today. Our focus today will be on deep lunges and of some forward folds. Lunges and folds. But as always, if you're needing poses that we don't practice together, feel free to move into the postures that you need today. Just continue with your breath. As you inhale, just feel your breath rising upward, filling up your lungs, so a nice expansive deep breath in. And then as you exhale, as you're able, draw your navel inward towards your spine. It's a light contraction of your abdominal muscles. We call that the abdominal lock. It just gives you support and strength. And that sensation also allows you just to be still in this moment, in silence. And that sensation too will help you move, give you power and energy. Let's take three more breaths here. Prepare your body to move. When you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Just treat it like a nice stretch all the way up there. And exhale, it's fold forward, a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And take your time. There's certainly no rush as you move here. Then inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or your knees and extend your spine. Feel like you're coming forward, leading through the crown of your head. And exhale back down to a forward fold. So our first forward fold. And this could be a partial fold. You don't have to go all the way down to touch your toes. If it feels best at this moment just to rest your hands on your shins or higher up on your legs, please do that. And you're also welcome to add movement here. You might circle the shoulders, make circles with the shoulders. Yes, a little movement of your head, maybe nod yes a few times. Shake your head no a few times. Even a little sway of your whole upper body, left and right. Again, just checking in, noticing how you're feeling. 
because we will be doing some more forward fold. We'll be focusing on hamstrings. <clears throat> With our lunges, they'll target our hip flexors or the front portions of the legs. Let's do another halfway lift. You're going to inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees, rising up halfway. We're going to hold here on the exhale. So this is half forward fold and keep a good bend in the knees here. Even distribution of weight on your feet from heel to toe. Knees are bent, but there's a feeling of movement through your tailbone towards the back of the room and forward through the crown of your head. Now weight shift into your heels. Bend your knees like you're going to lower your hips into a, a chair, a low chair. Take your arms out to the side or forward and rise up into your nice and tall extended mountain pose. There it is. Reach high and exhale. You can bring your hands down to your heart or arms down to your side. Back to our standing position. Take a breath. Let's just go through that same sequence, just making it flow, going at your own pace. Inhale, reaching into the air. Good energy through your fingertips, reaching beyond the ceiling. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinging at the hips, folding forward, maybe touching toes. Inhale, rise up halfway, flat back. That's our halfway lift. This exhale will go back down towards toes. And that still could be a partial fold. Your weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, lifting your chest a bit, spread your wings and float all the way back up, reaching high. Exhale, hands to heart or arms to your side. Another pause. Find your breath. We'll continue with our sequence here. Continuing to move at your own breath pace. Inhale, reaching into the air. Nice stretch feeling. Exhale, fold forward. Always okay to bend your knees as you fold. Inhale, rise up halfway, or just feel the extended spine right here. This exhale, we're folding all the way down. Bend your knees enough so you can place your hands on your mat and walk or step or even hop both of your feet back to the back end of your mat. Once here, just draw a straight line as you're able. Plank pose. We'll take a breath in. And the exhale, bend your knees a little, but send your hips up into the air. This is our shortcut to downward facing dog. You can do this any time in the practice. I typically do it the very first time. And you're welcome to do that throughout the practice. And as you're settling in or arriving in your downward facing dog, make some adjustments with your feet, with your hands. You can certainly just hold in stillness here or add movement, maybe pedal the feet. That will certainly get into your calves since we're doing some leg work. Get into your toes, bend your knees, move your hips. If you need to rest, maybe just come down to your knees so you can get off the hands for a moment. Check in with your head and necks. I know for me, I tend to hold my neck stiff in down dog. So you might just want to nod and shake the head a little bit to release. Getting ready to move from here, a nice full breath in and exhale, bend your knees, walk, step or hop, both feet return to the top of your mat to your forward fold. Take a spinal extension, just a halfway lift, leading with the crown of your head. Exhale, fold. Here's our weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, inhale, reverse your swan dive to grow tall, reach into the air. Let's keep the body in motion. Exhale, take chair pose, Utkatasana. Again, that weight shift into the heels, bend your knees, sit back. Arms extended, breathing in, still in motion. Exhale, dive forward, down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, re-extending it. Exhale, fold, bend all the way down, hands to the floor, hop or step back into plank pose. As before, you can take that same shortcut to down dog or with the exhale, bend your elbows to lower your body down, there you go. Finishing the push-up, inhale, upward facing dog or a cobra pose. And then exhale onto your toes, lifting hips into the sky, guiding your body into downward facing dog. We'll always meet there, downward facing dog. Continuing and inhale to extend right leg up behind you, reaching back, hold there, and just keep breathing in and out. Let's just see if we can get a little longer. Reaching back with this right foot as if you will touch the wall behind you or even the ceiling. Hands root into the earth. Let's breathe in. 
Exhale, let's step right foot to the top of the mat, landing near the right hand. You'll turn your left heel to the floor behind you. Be sure you have good weight in that back foot. Less weight or no weight in the hands. So you can easily hinge from hips. Yes, rising up facing forward. Warrior one. Exhale, hinge and fold and make your way back down to the ground. Plant your hands, slide the right foot back, plank pose. Finish the sequence as you'd like. Chaturanga variation, you can bring knees to the floor first. Then bend elbows, lower your chest. Your back bend could be a low one like cobra or locust. And exhale, downward facing dog. So those can change any time you arrive through that sequence. Other side, when you're ready, inhale, extend left leg up, hold on the exhale, keep breathing in and out as you feel the body get a little bit longer here. Reaching to touch that back wall, hands firmly pressing into the mat. Ready to move, breathing in, and your exhale, left foot to the top of the mat. Creating the lunge, right heel will turn to the floor, rooted into the earth. Light hand so you can easily hinge your way up, first warrior. Nice opening of the heart. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let's make our way back down. Plant the hands, let's slide the left foot back, and then finish the sequence as you'd like. And we'll meet together in downward facing dog. Once in down dog, just take a breath or two. And let's meet on the floor here. So you're going to bend your knees, just kneel down. Sit back briefly in hero, but sit off to the side so you can swing the legs around to the front. You're going to sit in the center of your mat. And then carefully guide your way down onto your back, hugging your knees into chest. And just add some movement here as it feels good. I like to rock side to side, make some figure eights. For me, that feels good on my low back and hips. Get into your feet here too. You might even circle the feet, get into your ankle joints. Before we do bridge pose, let's extend both legs up into the air. Knees can be bent. Let's flex the feet so the heels feel like they're reaching for the ceiling, just to activate the legs. Breathing in, and the exhale, bend your knees and just place your feet on the floor. And your feet can be hip distance apart or wider than that. Ready for bridge. You can always adjust once you're in bridge. Breathe in, fill up your lungs. And exhale, empty the belly, peeling away from the floor. So lifting hips up into the air. And here's where you might make some adjustments with the feet. And with the upper body, you might take your arms and shoulders and get them underneath you. That might require rocking left and right several times to get the arms and shoulders underneath you. So we're just moving into this back bend, this heart opener, but with some emphasis or just focus and awareness of how this affects the upper thighs, right at the belt line, the low belly. Okay, right in that hip flexor area, because we'll be doing more lunges that will affect this part. We'll just take three more breaths. When you're complete, just wiggle the feet forward a little bit, extend your arms into the air that should get the shoulders out from underneath you, and then roll your way back down to the earth. Once you've landed, extend your arms behind you, extend your legs out in front of you, and just stretch and lengthen these opposite directions. Transition to boat pose. Start by hugging the knees into chest, rocking forward and back to rock yourself up to seated or roll to one side if that feels better and just press and lift yourself up to seated. And we'll guide our bodies into boat pose. Any variation, this is where I typically start, Bent knees, active feet, holding on to the legs to ensure a lengthened spine because I can lift myself up. Some breaths here just to help connect, activate the abdominal system. That way I can release and have free hands. Okay. You can do lots of variations, even with heels on the floor, hands free, holding on, straight legs, arms up. So lots of variations. Okay, let's move here, breathing in. And exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side. So you can swing the feet back behind you or hop back, plank pose. Hold for a second. 
Let's take a shortcut to downward facing dog from here. <clears throat> Continuing the flow, inhale, extend right leg up. Let's open this up. Let's bend the knee, bring your heel down toward your backside. Perfect. Lifting the knee a little bit will create a bit of a twist or rotation in the spine. That's good. It opens the hips. Hands continuing to press firmly into the ground. We'll breathe in. And the exhale to unwind and step through. Right foot back up to the top of the mat. Let's return to warrior one. Left heel turns to the floor. Find that balance. Take your time with this transition. Rising up. Warrior one when you're ready. Then exhale opening to the left side of the room for warrior two. Make some adjustments with your feet. Settle in. Just like standing in mountain pose, you want to feel grounded. Really good connection with the feet. Yes, strong legs. Active arms, hands and fingers. Let's follow the right arm forward. That's it. Angled upper body, rotate your arms, reaching down with the right hand, reaching up into the air with the left. There's our side angle pose. Some breathing here. Opening up, perfect. Yes, that's it. We're going to breathe in and exhale, a careful turn and fold. Bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back, plank pose, another pause so the body can realign. Another shortcut if you like to, downward facing dog. Adjust the feet, adjust your hands as you need to, to fully arrive in your pose. Then inhale to extend the left leg into the air. And let's open this up with a bend of the knee, lifting the knee, a little twist. Hip opener, strong hands, bring strong arms and supportive shoulders in this posture. Yes, breathing in, here we go. Exhale to unwind so you can step through. Left foot to the top of the mat. Again, taking your time with these transitions. There you go. Right heel turns to the floor. Find that centering, then rise that first warrior reaching into the air. Exhale, opening to your right side of the room. Here's our warrior two. Perfect, yeah, good adjustment with the feet. Nice alignment, knee right over the ankle, you got it. Strong legs, active arms, and then side angle. First reaching forward to angle the upper half of the body and then rotating the arms, reaching high, reaching low. Now your hand might actually be touching the floor but you don't have to go down that low. You can always be much higher up. Your left arm is, it could be resting lightly on the thigh or braced against the inner thigh. Breathing in. And our exhale, careful turn. Here's our fold back down to the ground with both hands, sliding left foot back, plank pose. You can take that same shortcut to down dog or complete the series, chaturanga, up dog or a lower back bend, and then downward facing dog. Arriving. Breathing. Ready to move. Another full breath in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale. Hop or step forward. Turning to the top of the mat. There's our forward fold. Inhale to extend spine. Exhale. Refold. Let's hold here a little bit longer in our forward fold. But in this forward fold, just lean forward a little bit so you feel a little bit more weight and pressure in your toes. Even to the point where you have to grip the mat a little bit with your toes so you don't fall forward. Couple breaths. Just allowing the lengthening to occur in the legs here. And then our weight shift back into the heels, taking the pressure off the toes. Bend the knees, sit into your imaginary low chair, lengthening through the torso, spread your wings, grow tall, reach up, maybe a little extra hold here at the top. And exhale, spring the arms down to your side. Good, and just roll the shoulders here, check in with the body all the way down to the feet if you need to. Okay, as we transition to some balancing. <clears throat> okay, so tree pose, starting on two feet. A little softness in the knees, a little weight shift into our right foot, root into the floor, strong connection. Feel tall up top with the breath in, nice. Exhale, draw belly in, that's our connection. Let's peel the left foot up off the floor, maybe flex the foot so the leg stays active. We'll swing the knee out to the either corner of the room or to the side of the room, whatever works best for you there. Replacing the foot on the inside of the standing leg. High, if you want, on inner thigh. 
I usually go to my calf area. You can even use the floor if you need it today. Use your toes on the floor. Once you're in place, an inhale to take the arms into the air. Reaching up, lift up. I'm gonna come down here so you have good focus here without someone moving in front of you. Mm -hmm. So focus directly forward or even slightly downward, even at the floor is fine. As the body continues to move down into the earth with the right foot and reaching beyond the ceiling with the hands. Good balance work. Keep the arms extended. We're gonna swing that left knee forward Lift the knee with a flexed foot, and then plant the foot back down into the earth, and you can bring your arms back down by your side, finishing that sequence, and finishing it by uh, letting it all go. Checking, yep, checking in from head to toe, and ready for the other side. Balanced on two feet, soft knees, weight shift into your left foot, press. Tall upper body, feel light, Core connection on the exhale. Let's peel that right foot up off the floor. Flex the foot. We're swinging the knee out. It might even only be that far. Okay, whatever feels good for the hip. Okay, and bringing knee to the inner leg. Again, I always default to my calf. You can bring it higher or lower. Inhale, take your arms up into the air. Good reaching sensation. Okay, you want to feel like you're being lifted. <clears throat> As if you might just float up off the floor. Okay, but you are rooted into the earth. Breathing, focus, yes. This is a good concentrating posture, even a good meditative posture. Keep the arms extended, we'll swing the right knee forward now, lifting the knee with the flexed foot, plant the foot into the earth, arms can return to your side, completing that series, letting it all go. <clears throat> Wonderful. Let's continue some good movement. Inhale, reach into the air. Exhale, chair pose. Don't forget, always moving at your own pace. Chair pose. Breathing in. Exhale, out of the chair, down towards toes, forward fold. Lifting halfway up with an inhale, monkey, flat back. Exhale, all the way down. Bend the knees, plant your hands into the earth. Hop or step back into plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana, or some variation of movement, flowing. Just, all, just making your way back to down dog eventually. Good. When you're ready, inhale, extend right leg up behind you. Bend and twist open, that little hip opener there. We're going to come out of it right away. Unwind, step through, right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel turns to the floor. Take your time, shifting to center, floating your way up. My instructions might be fast. Doesn't mean you have to go fast. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Okay, side angle, reach out. Rotate here. Maybe even follow the left hand over your head towards the front of the room just to get a little bit more of a sensation of lengthening through the left side of your body. Still moving, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor. We're going back to down dog. You're going to sweep the right foot back and right up into the air. Okay. We're going to high lunge. With your next exhale, step through. Right foot lands again at the top of the mat. Keep the left heel lifted. Okay, so finding your center here, even with that back heel lifted, hands are light, long spine, hinge from hips rising up. High lunge or crescent lunge. We're gonna do an, another variation of this pose later. We're reaching high, lunge low. We're starting to get into that hip flexor. I like to call this a balancing lunge since we don't have that back heel on the floor. If you feel a little wobbly in the legs, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. You'll feel very strong here. Breathe in as we lift up to straighten the legs a little bit. Exhale, pivot left heel to the floor, turn towards the windows. Drop your arms down to parallel. We're ready for triangle. Okay, so the legs are straight here. Yeah, right foot still facing forward. Reach out over the right leg. Perfect. Rotate triangle pose. Trikonasana, right hand down, left hand up, and straight-ish legs. Just as long as you feel some lengthening, that stretch quality in the right hamstrings. So the hand, your right hand might be on the right leg. If you're low enough, maybe you're touching your ankle or maybe a block or two. Coming out of the pose, bend your right knee to lunge. Come back up and through a warrior two and reverse your warrior, taking right hand up into the air. Extend, might be straight up 
it might even be somewhat forward or even towards the back of the room a little bit. Breathing, breathing into that right side body. And here comes a big windmill, bringing both hands down to the floor in front. We'll step back into plank pose, finish the series as you'd like. It might be different each time, whatever the body needs at that moment. Once in down dogs, arriving, a breath. Then inhale, extend left leg into the air, bend and twist open. Still moving, let's unwind it, step through. Left foot to the top of the mat, right heel turns to the floor, back to our basic flow. So warrior one, and exhale, opening to warrior two. Side angle pose, reach out, rotate here. Reaching high and low, but the right hand reaching over your head, perhaps, to get that lengthening through the right side of your body. Breathe in. And our exhale to turn, hands to the floor, going back to down dog. You're going to sweep the left foot back and right up into the air. So down dog, left leg lifted. Next exhale, step through, left foot to the top of the mat, back to our high lunge. When you land, the weight of the body may come forward. Shift back, find center. Hands are light, rise up. There, yeah. Okay, once you're here, nice and tall, keep reaching up high and lunge low at the same time. Feel the right leg, that hip flexor. Hug legs to center for stability. Right heel is lifted. High lunge. Inhale and grow tall to straighten the legs a little bit. Exhale, pivot right heel to the floor, arms to parallel. Legs are still straight. You can even shorten the distance between the feet if you need to as you now move into your triangle pose. Reaching out and tip it over. Whatever you need to do there. Bring the feet closer together, at least for me, helps my hips. If my legs are too wide in that posture, it doesn't feel great on my hips. Okay, so just be aware of how that feels for you. Good breathing. As if you are breathing into those spaces that you're working on. Coming out of the posture, stay where you are, but just bend the left knee into a lunge. Then we'll float up and through a warrior two and reverse your warrior. Left hand reaching into the air. You can choose the angle, forward, straight up, maybe behind you. Wherever you are, breath supporting you. Maybe your breath helps you to hold in, hold a posture. Move from pose to pose. Here comes our big windmill, all the way down to the floor with both hands, and stepping back into plank pose, finishing the series as you'd like right here. Modified if you need to right here. Okay, we're going back down to the earth. You can hop forward, cross your legs and take a seat, or just kneel down to take a seat. Once you're on the floor, just extend your legs straight out in front of you. Right there, we're going to do a, a seated forward fold. We did our standing forward folds. Let's do a seated forward fold. Let's start with flexed feet, relatively straight legs, staff pose. So hands on the floor by your hips, and just push into the floor to help assist a lengthened torso and spine. If your shoulders feel a little hunched forward, just roll them back. Maybe even activate your back muscles. We are going to take a forward fold. If you happen to have a strap, you can use a strap for your forward fold. Okay, staying tall as can be. Let's take the arms up into the air. Exhale, start to hinge forward a little bit, just a little. Bring the hands down. Just let them land on your legs. Or if you got a strap, let's grab the strap here. Breathe in, good extension of spine again. Exhale, hinge a little bit more or a little tug of the strap to help draw you down. Now initially, let's see if the legs can stay relatively straight as well as the back, but then we can soften those parts. Bend the knees, round your back, so you can go a little deeper. Let's take some time here. I do like adding that rounded spine 
because it adds a bit of a stretch or flexion in the back if you need that, as well as the hamstring stretch. Excellent. Hold as long as you need to. At any time that you feel complete with the pose, if we seem to be holding it a little bit too long, so that your body doesn't react to the posture or get stressed out, you can always lighten the pose or even come out of the pose. Okay, let's just take two more breaths here. Releasing the strap or the feet or legs, and then reach or hinge your way up, reaching into the air. Inhale, get tall right there. Exhale, arms down to your side. Good. Let's get out of this leg stretch and just come to cobbler's pose. Just bend your knees, bring the feet together. Let's do this. Let's hold onto the feet, ankles, or shins. Another tall lift through the spine. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward. We're only going to hold here a couple of breaths because we're going to turn this into a bit of a back bend too. Because Since we already just did a forward fold, let's just throw in a complementary pose. So just another stretch for the back as you open up the inner thighs. Okay. And then just rise back up nice and tall. Let's keep the leg in foot position, but bring the hands behind you. Fingers might point away. Just lean back into the hands. Roll the shoulders back. Tip chin up a little bit. Press into the floor with the hands. It'll, it, what that does is just, just like sitting up tall, it just lengthens the torso. And with the torso slightly lifting up out of the pelvis, you might find that your knees fall open a bit more for that hip stretch. Now a little bit more active. Inhale, press into the floor with the hands. Inhale, feel breath rising. Fill up your lungs. Really fill them up. Exhale, maybe squeeze shoulder blades together. So this is our back bend. It's mild, but very effective. Okay, another breath in. And exhale. Okay, and then lower your chin so you're looking forward. Walk forward with the hands. Sit up tall for a moment, just kind of getting that energy out of the arms for a second but then right into boat pose. You'll lean back, bring the knees together, leaning back so the feet can just float into the air. Yes. All right, breathing in, ready to move. Exhale, cross legs, hands in front or to the side, swinging the feet back, hop or step back, plank pose. Here we'll just take a shortcut to down dog. We're gonna get into a deep lunge here. First, inhale, extend right leg up behind you, keep it straight. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat, and stay here in this runner's lunge. What we'll do is set the left knee onto the floor. If you have a thinner mat, feel free to fold your mat underneath that left knee so you can pad it, okay? Now we're just gonna rise up with the upper body. Just rise up, just resting your hands on your thigh for a moment. So at first you might have a relative 90 degree angle in that right leg. We're gonna change that. So lean back a little bit so you can take some of the weight off that leg and foot and step or wiggle that foot forward, way out front, because we're gonna lunge forward. Okay, keep resting the hands on the thigh. We're gonna inhale, feel tall through the torso. Exhale, engage belly, but then move your hips forward. And you'll see, you'll get that shift. The knee will end up being nicely aligned over the heel or ankle. That's what we want on that uh, right side. We're getting to this left hip flexor. We're gonna do two things. Keep just resting the hands on the thigh or near the knee. Light pressure, because we're lifting up, nice and tall in the torso. With that light lift, tall torso, you are creating a back bend. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Okay, just like we did in that seated position. Kind of just tip the chin up, feel like you're lifting your heart up. That's a back bend. We're gonna take this lower now. Okay, coming out of that back bend, lean out towards this right thigh. Bring both hands to the floor on the inner right foot. Move the right foot. Just heel toe your right foot out to the right side and might even step right off the mat. Okay? And even turned out at an angle. 
<clears throat> this is going to create some space so we can get deeper into this lunge. This is where your blocks might come in handy if you have them nearby. You can stay on your hands kind of low like this, but let, letting the hips kind of sink with gravity and weight oh, okay, into that left side. Or you might be able to come down lower, all the way down to your elbows. Or if the floor is too far away, bring your blocks in and rest your elbows on the blocks. Some deep breaths here, since this is deep sensation. Add a very gentle, slow mo movement, if you'd like. I consider that kind of like a massage to help release. So notice that perhaps in your left hip flexor as you're kind of sinking into the hips, with the right inner leg also getting a little stretch there too. Just two more breaths. After the second breath, if you made it down to your elbows, come back up onto your hands. Start to get up and out of that deep lunge. Keep the hands on the floor. Okay. But move the hands to the left so you can bring your right foot back in or onto the mat if it went out to the side. Even slide it back a little bit. Climb back up onto the thigh, right back here. Okay. And so have you move the foot back, back to this right angle here. Nice and tall up top. Tuck your toes behind you because we're going to lift up out of this posture. That's where we need to engage the legs again, squeezing inner thighs towards each other so the legs feel strong. Let's start by taking both arms up into the air, interlace your fingers, and even look up. Inhale, fill yourself up with breath. As you exhale, engage belly, engage legs, and then lift that left knee off the floor. You'll be in this lunge. Kind of another version of high lunge. Okay. Open to warrior two. Good. Side angle. Follow left hand over your head, reaching to the front of the room. Breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor. Slide right foot back. You'll be in plank for a moment. And then a return to down dog, just a shortcut. Into the other side, same thing, taking our time. Inhale, taking left leg straight up into the air, left foot to the top of the mat for our high lunge. Once you've landed, we're going to set the right knee down on the floor, pat it as you need to. Climb up the leg. Let's run left thigh. Lean back a little bit so we can move that left foot forward so you'll have room for the lunge so you don't aggravate your front knee. Hands are just resting on your thigh and inhale to get tall. Exhale, core engagement, moving the hips forward. Just want to be sure the knee doesn't jet past the ankle too much because that'll put too much pressure perhaps on that joint. Okay, light pressure on the knee or thigh, long, tall torso for this back bend. Even tip chin up a little bit. Inhale to fill up the lungs. With this exhale, you can soften out of that back bend. Just lean forward, chest towards thigh. Bring both hands to the floor on the inside of the left foot. So you can heel toe that left foot out to the side, even off the mat to make more space. Carefully, gently, just start to sink into that right hip. Hip flexor, front portion of the pelvis. Yeah. Coming down lower, to get lower, at least for me, I know I have to really move that leg way out to the side, that left leg way out to the side to make space to even get my elbows to the floor. So you can go as low as you'd like or stay up as high as you need. Use props, that's where those blocks come in handy, especially for a pose like this, yeah. Add some gentle movement. And of course, breath. Maybe even an exaggerated exhale at some point. Letting any tension go. 
any tightness to be released. Two more breaths. If you made it down to your elbows, make your way back up onto your hands. Start to lift out of that deep lunge. Maybe a little step of the hands to the right so you can heel toe your left foot back in. Slide it back a little bit. So we're forming that right angle with the left leg. Climb back up the leg. Hands on thigh. Again, nice and tall. Tuck your toes behind you. Okay, we're gonna rise. We need to engage and get ready. So get the, let's take the arms up, interlace fingers before we rise. Okay, we're inhaling, reaching, exhale, pull belly in, squeeze thighs together, then lift that back knee. Inhale, and exhale, let's pivot right heel to the floor, you'll open up into a warrior two. Side angle, reach out, rotate. Follow right hand over your head. Reach. Nice stretch. Breathe in. Exhale. Turn. Fold. Hands to the floor. Back to down dog. Both feet on the floor. Okay, we're going to add another pose here. Another forward fold. First, an inhale to extend right leg straight up into the sky. Right foot to the top of the mat. Another high lunge. So left heel stays lifted. Find your center. Rise up. Reach up. Once you're tall here, shoot straight up, straightening the legs. Pivot left heel to the floor, opening to what I call a tri uh, triangle prep. Go ahead and take triangle. Reach out, rotate. Okay, a couple breaths just to continue these nice openings in the body and that hamstring stretch. Okay, stay tipped over, but bend the right knee. Kind of lunge you, but stay low. You're going to turn, bring your hands to the floor by the right foot. Stay here. But then walk your hands over towards the left side of the room. Let's spin the right foot so all ten toes are pointing to the left side of the room. You'll be in a wide, wide leg forward fold. Adjust the distance between the feet. A little wider if that feels good, or closer together if they are too wide. Some good breathing. Yeah, add some movement here. Okay, it might be the upper body kind of sinking into the posture. It might even be a bend of the knees. Add some twists. You might even take, let's say, maybe left hand over towards right foot and maybe rotate the torso. Okay, kind of make things up here, whatever might feel good while you're here. A little lunge to one side and the other. Three more breaths. After that third breath, you're going to rise up to your fingertips, inhale to extend the spine, stay here as you exhale, bend the knees, and, sit, and drop the hips like you're going to sit in a low chair, just like we've done with other forward folds. But lean back well enough and far enough so the hands are light, so you can take your hands off the floor, spread your wings out to the side. You'll be kind of in this deep squat, yes. With an in-breath, go ahead and rise up to your tall, I call this a star shape, and just turn your right foot forward, lunge into warrior two, reverse your warrior, right hand reaching into the air, and a big windmill, taking the hands down to the floor in front, back to down dog, both feet on the floor, hips in the sky. Okay, other side. Inhale, extend left leg into the air, left foot to the top of the mat, Okay, we're going to high lunge. Right heel stays lifted. Find your center first, light hands, then rise. Once you're tall, whoa, we're going to shoot straight up, straightening the legs a bit. Pivot right heel to the floor. Drop arms to parallel. Okay, go ahead and take your triangle pose. A few breaths. 
just to get reacquainted with this feeling since we've been here before. Stay tipped over. Let's bend the left knee and sink into this lunge. Turn so both hands are on the floor near this left foot. And then walk your hands over towards the right side of the room. Spin the left foot so it's also facing the right side of the room. You'll be in a wide-legged forward fold again. Yes. So it's our second time here. So you might be able to go a little wider with the feet if that feels good. Yeah, and continue to play with the posture. Add other movements. Those are great. I like those lunges. That wide-legged forward fold can also set you up for some arm balancing, even headstands and handstands. Three more breaths. After that third breath, take your time. You're going to rise back up to your fingertips to help extend the spine with an inhale. Exhale, hold. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, sit into an imaginary low chair until there's no weight in the hands so you can spread your wings out to the side. Feel and experience that deep squat. Perfect. Rise up to our star shape. Arms straight out to the side. Turn left foot forward, lunge into your warrior two, reverse your warrior. Left hand reaching up and beyond the ceiling. Maybe slightly behind you. Here comes our big windmill all the way down to the floor in front. Take it back to plank pose this time and finish your sequence as you'd like. Meeting together in downward facing dog. Okay, let's put a sequence together here. From your down dog. Inhale, extend right leg up into the air. Bend and twist open. Going back to our warrior one setup. Right foot to the front. Left heel turns to the floor behind you. Set yourself up for warrior one. Rising up. Exhale, opening warrior two. Warrior two. Side angle pose. Reach out, rotate the arms. Again, follow left hand overhead, left side body stretch. Yes, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor. Sweep the right foot back and up into the air. Straight line. Right foot returns to the top of the mat. Stay here. Runners lunge. Gently set the left heel on, I'm sorry, left knee, I'm sorry, left knee onto the floor. Follow me. We're staying here, propped up on fingertips. Squeeze inner thighs towards each other as best as you can right at this moment to engage the legs. Who's going to shoot the arms forward, interlace the fingers, rise up, inhale, reach up, and maybe slightly back. Okay, This is the last version of the high lunge. It's a low lunge, and it's called Anjaneyasana. So it's that same deep lunge we've been doing before, reaching up into the air with the hands, left knee on the floor, lunging. Breathe in. Exhale, let's fold. Bring the hands back down to the floor, right here. Tuck toes behind you. Just lift that back knee, just the back knee, and just uh, step the hands to the left side of the room. Spin the right foot to the left side of the room. You'll be in a, that forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Take a moment for this stretch. Rise to fingertips. Extend the spine. Inhale. As you're exhaling, lean back into the heels, bend the knees, take the seat. Okay, or imaginary seat. Spread your wings. You've got it. Rise up, star shape. Turn right foot forward, lunging warrior two. Perfect. Reverse your warrior reach. Yes. And our big windmill back down to the floor in front. Step back, plank. That's our series, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold for a breath. Then inhale, extend left leg into the air. Quick bend and twist open. You'll unwind. Left foot to the top of the mat. Back to our basic flow. Right heel turns to the floor. Take your time. Find your centering. Rise up. Exhale, warrior two. 
Be a little wider in the stance if that feels good. Side angle, coming this direction, tip it over. Follow right hand overhead. Just notice and feel how the body's opening. You've got it, yes, turn, hands to the floor. Back to down dog, sweep the left foot back and up into the air, reach. Okay, we're getting set up for Anjaneyasana. So left foot to the top of the mat, runner's lunge. Hold, gently set right knee onto the floor. You can flatten that back foot. Maybe rise to fingertips just so you can extend spine, engage legs. Reach hands forward, interlace fingers. Inhale, hinge your way up. Lift up tall, because we're in a back bend now, and you can let the hips sink. Anjaneyasana. Yes. Okay, we're hinging forward and out of the pose. Hands down to the floor. Tuck toes behind you, lifting the knee. Walk the hands to the right side of the room. Left foot also to the left side of the room. Wide-legged forward fold. And prasarita paratadasana. A. Okay, it was four versions of this pose. Okay, some nice stretches there. Good use of props. Good movement, good breath. There it is. Rise to fingertips. Inhale to extend spine. On the exhale, bend the knees, set the hips back and down. Light hands. Okay, here's that squat. Rise up, star shape. Love that turn. The left foot forward, lunging warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Reach, extend. Okay, big windmill, bringing the hands down to the floor in front. Step back, plank pose, completing that series, Chaturanga. Up dog, and downward facing dog. Just arriving here, a breath or two. Then we're going to return to the earth when you're ready. You can kneel down to take a seat or hop forward, cross your legs and take a seat. Once you're down, roll down onto the back, draw knees into chest. Early in our practice, I had you extend the legs straight up into the air. It's an inverted posture. You can do the same thing. Or try some other versions if you want. If you have a block nearby, place your feet on the floor like you're prepped for bridge. Slide a block underneath you and then extend the legs. Or take shoulder stand where you take the legs and hips in the air and use your hands to support your body in the air. So any version of an inverted posture, something upside down. That could even mean a headstand or a, he a handstand today. <clears throat> yes, love it. If you happen to be in shoulder stand, you, you're welcome to, but certainly just an option to take plow pose where you might bring the feet down behind you or even your knees down towards your forehead. And just be mindful of how this feels in your neck, in particular, but also in your back. And you don't have to hold those postures too long. Three more breaths wherever you happen to be. You can certainly be there longer wherever you happen to be as well. Okay. Then eventually, slowly, carefully, and guide your way back down to the earth. Where you'll you'll take another back bend. That could be bridge pose. It could be wheel pose or full back bend. Or typically after this kind of a series, you might do fish pose, okay? If you happen to have a bolster, okay? You can just kind of drape yourself over a bolster, which is really nice for fish. Or just lie flat on the mat, long legs, pointed toes. You're sitting on your arms and hands, okay? Yeah, you can even come to, for fish, you can also make that fish tail, by coming to cobbler's pose so the feet can touch knees out to the side. And then you arch your back, lifting the chest, arching the back. Your head might touch the floor behind you, or it might not, depending on how high you're propped up on the elbows. So any back bend, just an opening of the front body, just for a couple more breaths. We 
Whenever you feel complete with your back bend, carefully, slowly make your way out of the pose. You might even extend the body, getting some length in the legs, arms, and spine. You have a little time here to add any other pose. Might be a twist, another hip opener, or if you feel complete with your practice, just come to Shavasana or any restorative, relaxing pose, something that feels good for you. Use props, blankets, blocks, pillows, anything that you need or want to help support your body. You might lie down in Shavasana, you might lie on your side. You can even come up to seated. Just move into those finishing poses. And at least a few minutes of restfulness, ease, and meditation while in stillness. to move just yet. Just return to the awareness of your breath. Sometimes our minds like to wander as we become more still and quiet and relaxed. So just whatever thought is in your mind, just set it to the side. Tell it you'll return to it later and focus on your breath. Once again, become aware of your breath. And with this awareness, take five slow, deep breaths. Bring energy back into the body, feeling movement return to your body. Even acknowledge your practice, this dynamic flow leg work, lunges, hip openers, folds and bends. When you are ready to move, certainly no rush, Carefully and slowly roll onto either side of your body, just moving into a nurturing pose. You can certainly just stay resting on your back if you'd like. Pause here. And when you're ready, move as slowly as you can. Guide your way up to seated. Just one more movement together and inhale, taking arms up into the air. With the exhale, bring your hands together and down to your heart.
As we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, <clears throat> Namaste. Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.